Hello everyone, I'm reading about my book of Bible stories. It's about Moses, Aaron, and Jehovah. Let's read. On page 48, here we go. The wise Gibeonites. Many of the cities in Canaan now get ready to fight against Israel. They think that they can win, but the people in the nearby city of Gibeon do not think so. They believe that God is helping the Israelites, and they do not want to fight against God. So do you know what the Gibeonites do? They decide to make it look as they, as if they live somewhere very so far away. So some of the men try to raise clothes and worn out sandals. They load their donkeys with worn out sacks and take some old dry bread. And they go to Joshua and say, I'm to a very distant land. So you know about your great God, the Jehovah. You heard all the things that I did for you. So our leaders told us to get some things ready for a trip and to go and face him. We are the children together. And that was all of us. We can see that our slaves and go out on a long trip and that our bread has become old and dry. Joshua and the other leaders believe the Gibeonites so they made a promise not to fight against them. But three days later, uh, they learned that the Gibeonites were the old mother. Why did you tell us that you came from a distant land, Joshua asked him. The Gibeonites answered, We did so because we were told that the God Jehovah had promised to give all this land of Canaan to you. So we were afraid that you would kill us, but the Israelites took to their credit, and they did not kill the Gibeonites. Instead, uh, they made them their servants. The king of Jerusalem is okay. The king of Jerusalem is angry because the Gibeonites have made peace with Israel. So he says to four other kings, "Come and help me to fight Gibeon." And that is what these five five kings do. Were the Gibeonites wise to make peace with Israel, which now causes these kings to come to fight against them? We will see. The end. Bye bye.